Alright, time to fight one of the most challenging gym leaders in all of Kanto, Lieutenant Surge. Alright, what's going on everybody? My name is Captain Rico, and today we are continuing our Pokemon Nuzlocke. You guys enjoyed that last video. I wasn't I wasn't expecting it to do that well, but you guys loved it. So we're gonna continue it. I'm gonna continue to suffer. Um, right now we're gonna start off by learning a new move for our Pikachu from this guy, and then we're gonna make our way through the Nugget Bridge and uh, try to level up as much as possible because I don't feel confident taking on Misty's gym, even though we have two Pokemon that are super effective against her gym. I just don't want to get one shotted. Well, not one shotted, but I don't want to risk losing any other Pokemon because we lost Pidgey and we can't afford to lose anybody else. All right, we finally got to Nugget Bridge and here's our rival. This is gonna be a little bit more challenging. He has three Pokemon, I have a full team, but we're under level. I knew he'd throw out Pidgey first, but I don't hope we can take him down. Okay, my team is slightly stronger, so we should be able to take him down. The move I learned was Zippy Zap, and that's pretty much like Quick Attack, but it's an electric type move. Oh, and it hits for a crit, so if you're <clears throat> Pokemon is weak to it, then you're going down. B Muffin's about to send out Oddish. Oh, he flinched. Oh, flinching would have been so great in the last episode. We got Pidgey would have still been alive. Please comment down below. Um, rest in peace for Pidgey. Poisoned. Why? Why would you do this? No, Pikachu. And just like that, our rival is defeated. Yeah, everybody on Nugget Bridge wasn't difficult at all. I kind of just one-shot them with my Pikachu's new move. Then there's this guy right here. I, I believe he's a Rocket Grunt in disguise. He's probably going to want to offer me to join. He's going to battle me. I need all the experience to fight Misty. You know, it's weird when it comes to the Team Rocket and this guy. It doesn't give you the option to say yes or no. You just He kind of just fights you. Well, it's not like it's going to be a challenge with a Zubat against my Pikachu. Oh, I thought we were going to take him out. He's still uh, coughing. What do I need? I don't really have anything. Uh, you know what? We'll stick with my uh, Pikachu. Ah, he poisoned me. <clears throat> and just like the coughing is taken down, is it, this one actually took two zippy zaps, even with two critical hits. It was a tough one. But yeah, we took the rocket grunt down. Now we're just going to battle every other trainer in the area until we get to uh, Bill's house. Alright, after defeating every trainer here on Route 24, we finally made it to Bill's house. Alrighty, after helping Bill escape his Pokemon form, and he gave us a ticket to the SS and we're now, I feel like we're strong enough to take on Misty's gym. Uh, this gym should not be that difficult. Well, that was easy. We defeated every trainer in Misty's gym. Now we just gotta take her down. This is Misty. 
the Cerulean City gym leader. It's a weird pose that she does. Like, you know, out of all the gym leaders, that's the weirdest pose. Of course she would use Psyduck. It's not like the uh, fire red and leaf green version where she just had two of the same type of Pokemon on her team. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have any trouble, but if anything happens, I'm gonna switch to my Oddish. And you know what? I'm not 100% sure because I know there's Route 4 that's right over there to the left. I'm not sure if we caught a Pokemon over there yet for Route 4 only, so I have to double check. All right, we're just, we're just gonna have Sandshrew forget a move. Why not? I mean, just gonna send out Star Meme. That's her Ace Pokemon, but I don't think we'll have any trouble with it. If anything, it will tank one of my uh, Zippy Zaps. Star Meme's a tough Pokemon. Yep, I knew it. I knew it would tank at least one. Yep. Oh, Psy Wave. Oh. You're gonna need more than that if you're gonna defeat me. By the way, if you guys hear any clicking of like another controller, Anarchy Reaper sitting it right next to me. He's playing some Siege. Rainbow Six Siege. Alright, our Pokemon are at level 19. Well, Sparky, our Pikachu, is at level 19. Everybody else is like way lower than him. I actually want them higher because I need Nidorino in order to get Nido King. Also for my team, I took out Beedrill because we already did everything we needed to with him. We got three stages of his form. Now I threw I substituted him with Psyduck. Because I want to get Golduck in order to get his entry for the Pokedex. Because we need 50 different species. Or I think so we need 50 of something in order to uh get into Koga's gym. Alright, I went back and I looked at the previous video that's up on the channel right now, and it doesn't seem like I got a Pokemon from Route 4, so I'm gonna go catch one. Um, there's a Pokeball right here. Some Great Balls. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Alright, we got him! I look. Out of all the scenes in this game, I love this scene the most because Pikachu, just for some reason, decides he wants to be um, a detective. Found the rocket grunt that caused all that damage in the house. Alright, and with that, we took down the uh, Team Rocket grunt. Alright, and our Nidoran is finally evolving. Now we can get Nido King. Alright, with Nido King as the newest addition to our team, look at him just chasing me. He looks like he's um, trying to get me out of the area. With Nido King as our newest member of the team, we can finally take on Lieutenant Surge, no problem. Um, I think there's a Growlithe over here, so I'm gonna try and catch one. Oh my god, it took forever to get this Growlithe. I've wasted like five balls. I always thought this was like the most annoying thing when you came down here to like... Because you can't, you can't go over the bridge that's connecting everything to uh, Cerulean City. But I find this part the funniest, because it's just Needle King following you from behind, and it's just like he's chasing you through this tunnel. Mm -hmm. Alright, we did a lot of grinding, battled a few trainers, and now we've made our way to Vermilion City, and now we're going to go to the SS Anne, uh, find the ship captain, learn how to cut stuff. Well, specifically trees, we're going to learn how to cut this thing down, go fight Surge, and then go from there. Alright, you know, before we even fight Lieutenant Surge or anybody on the SSAM, we're just going to come over here to Route 11 and go inside Diglett Cave and battle all the trainers over here, see if we can't catch any more Pokemon, because I just want my team to be as powerful as possible. And our rival wants to battle us again. Great. Well, at least we did that training up, so now our team is a little bit better. Alright, let's see if we can't win. I did swap around a few of the Pokemon. I have Drowsy on the team now. I figured I'd work on Mankey later since I wanted to make uh, Drowsy like a, um, a full member. 
Uh, use this. This should take him down, no problem. Oh, just a little off. Darn. Whatever. I'll use Thunderbolt. Why not? Alright, good. We got his Pidgeotto down. He's got to take down the rest of his team. Look at how many Pokemon he has. They guess four. But he's about to send out Eevee already, right off the bat. Why? Uh, I didn't rename Drowsy. I've got to. I'm gonna. Re uh, you know what? I'll keep Eevee. I mean, I'll I'll keep Pikachu out. Use bite. That, interest, that was a very interesting choice that he sent out Eevee. I mean, it's his most powerful Pokemon, so I don't, I don't know. Drowsy, his Oddish is a poison type, and Drowsy will take care of him, no problem. Use Confusion. Oh, I didn't do that much. I was hoping for more. That do. Hold on. About to figure this out. Alright. We're just gonna disable. Right, it's gonna keep hitting him with confusion until he goes down. Too bad my Pokemon doesn't have the ability Insomnia, otherwise he'd get put to sleep. Come on, get KO'd! Come on. Alright, there we go. B-Muffin spins is down. Time to fight one of the most challenging gym leaders in all of Kanto, Lieutenant CJ Surge. What gym are you on? Lieutenant Surge. What? Lieutenant Surge. Lieutenant Surge. Alright, Surge, you're going down. There's no way you can defeat my Nuzlocke team, which I he grinded asked, up to defeat you. He asked if he, if he thought you already beat him. I'm doing my Nuzlocke. Huh? I'm doing my Nuzlocke. Oh, he's doing his Nuzlocke or some shit. Yeah. My team is very under level. I'm kind of scared. I might need to swap at Needle King. Okay. Oh no. Okay, it's not. That's not. That's not really too bad. I was expecting way worse. Torb down. I'm gonna be kind of intim intimidated by his Raichu though. Magnemite's nothing, I'll take it down. Oh, I only got three digs left. That is not good. Oh, his light screen wore off. Get one shotted! 
right. Uh, I don't know if I can outspeed Raichu, but I can try. I don't think he'll one-shot my Pikachu, but still, it's kind of scary. Keep battling. He'll probably tank the first dig. He'll probably tank it. Yeah, he tanked it. Somehow I'm faster than him. Alright, here we go. Yep. We won. Got him. Yes. Yeah, we won! Woo! I defeated Lieutenant Surge. Fine. Take it. The Thunder Badge. Yeah, here we go. Alright, Raptor Pack, I hope you enjoyed this episode of my Pokemon Nuzlocke. This is a very scary gameplay because if I lose any Pokemon, that's the most stressful thing ever. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe.